Hey guys, welcome back once again to another new video on Mapster. So, uh, so far we have covered different types of Java Beans mapping using Mapster, like basic mapping, where we have same field name in both the Java Beans which you want to map, then mapping the beans uh, which have different field names, mapping nested bean or child beans properties, and mapping multiple source classes. So, in all these types of mappings, we saw our mapped attribute in both the Java bins have same data type. Okay, but not always mapped attribute has the same type of data type in source and target classes. Okay, so in our source classes, maybe the field name has a different data type than the target classes. So, let me give an example like let's say in our source classes or in our request object, a date field is coming. Okay, so in that the date field data type is string or let's say amount field is there in the request object or in a source object. So there the amount is coming as a string. But in our database, we want to save it as float value. Or uh, like for the date field which is coming as string, we want to save it as a local date field. Okay, so at that time we manually do the type, type conversion, isn't it? We do a null check for it. Then we convert this string date to local date time and save it in our DB. Okay, but Mapstock also supports data type conversion between source and target. It also provides automatic type conversion between primitive types and their corresponding wrapper classes. Okay, so uh, let me demonstrate one example so that it will be clear to you that uh, how Mapstock will help us to do the type conversion. So let's get started. So let me go to my workspace. So here I have this project Spring Boot with Mapstock demo. So I have created two bin which I want to map actually. Uh, see, okay. So this is my order entity class where I have the ID, amount, description, and date. And I have another DTO class, order DTO, where I have ID, order amount, description, and order date. So if we map these two classes, you can identify. See here, so the amount field in the Entity class is float type. The data type is float. But in order DTO class, it's coming as string value, order amount. Okay, like here order date is coming as string, but in our order entity class, it is local date. Okay, that means when the request is coming or in our source class, the order amount is a string field and order date is a string field. But in our database or in our entity class, we need to save it as float value for this amount and local date for this date field, order date field. Okay. So we'll see how map struct will automatically convert the type or convert the data type for these two fields. Correct. So let me open the order mapper for it. I have already created one mapper for do the mapping steps here see order mapper so I have two methods inside it one is two entity another is two DTO so now I will provide the mapping while converting to order DTO to order and vice versa order to order DTO okay so let me put add the rate mapping annotation and map for these two fields okay add the rate mapping so here I have amount and here I have order amount so source target mapping is necessary right okay so see here my source is order DTO and target is order so in order DTO I have the order amount and target only amount and here for order date I have order date and target is date okay and similarly here my source is order entity and target is order DTO so I just exchange the source and target value for amount and date clear so now if I go to the implementation class for this order mapper so let me open the target generated source annotation inside this I have a package mapper package inside this I have implementation class for this mapper so let me open order mapper IMP. so if you mark here check here so it is map struct will automatically convert this one order amount from string to float value. See, first it check order DTO that get order amount whether this value is present or not. Then it will convert this string value to float value. Float dot pass float. Okay. Then set to the order entity class. Likewise, I have the order date 
it will convert it to local date that pass order DTO dot get order date. Understood? Similarly, when we are converting to DTO order entity to order DTO, it will take order dot get amount which is a float value and converting it to string. String dot value of convert to string and set it to order DTO. And for date field, it will first check whether the date is present or not in order entity. Then it will convert it. See, mark here. This one is important. It is converted to which date format? ISO local date format. Okay. ISO local date format order dot get date. Correct. So if you want to provide your date time format or date time pattern, you can provide it as well. So as here, if I check the order mapper, here check. I have not provided any pattern for this order date. Okay. So when converting between the dates, if you are not specify the date format, then it will automatically take the default format of local date. So which is nothing but your ISO local date. So this is this is the default date for what? Local date. So here we have not provided any date time pattern for this date field. So it will automatically pick up. I mean map step will automatically pick up the default date for local date. This is nothing but YYY MMDD. Understood. Uh, for this also, similarly, I have created a controller like order controller. So, in order controller, I have two endpoints to save the order and to get the order by ID. So, if I go to my service class here, I use order repository.save method, so which will accept order. So, I use this order mapper.2 entity method to convert this order detail to order entity and save it to my DB. Similarly, I use find by ID method to fetch the order by its ID then map it to DTO. Okay, so this is the two methods I have in my service class. So let me run this application quickly to check the output. Okay, so my application started at 1990. Let me go to the browser and hit local host color 1990 swagger ui.html so here i have the order controller let me save some order quickly uh, id i don't need this id description let me put like bulk order i am giving any random description order amount let's say 30,000. then order date okay mark here so order date is by default i need to provide what iso local date type so why 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 i am providing IYY MMDD. Let's say. Okay. So let me execute. Okay. See, I am getting the response. Similarly, if I hit get order by ID endpoint by providing the order ID 52, then I am also getting the order DTO object. Okay. So ID, order amount, description and order date. Okay. If you want to provide your own date time pattern, then you can also add it here in the order date field. Here also you can provide your pattern. Okay. So how you can do this? So there is attribute date format. You can provide your own date format. Let's say you want to provide like this YYY, then MM. M then DD. You want to provide the date format like this. Also, you want to fetch the date format like this format as well. Let me copy this one. We are converting to order entity to order DTO. Also, you need the date format in this pattern. Okay. Similarly, I can put here also the date format. So now, if I check my order mapper IMP, you can see instead of default uh, date time format, it will pick up the provided date time format. See. So uh, local date dot parts order date dot get order date then format is date time formatted the off pattern yyy mmm and dd okay similarly when you are converting order to order dt also it will take this format only okay which we have provided in our mapper understood now let me run this application and check for this particular date format in which format we are getting the data actually Okay, so application started. Let me go there. 
to my swagger UI. So here I'll change the date formatter to YYY, then MMM and DD. So instead of 08, I can put like AUG August, then 8. Let's say here I am providing the description. I am giving any random uh, value like uh, order ABC I can provide. Execute. So it will accept the date in this format only. YYY, MMM and DD. And it is saving to a database. And in database it is saving in this format. Local date. Okay. For date we have local date. Right. So when I change the order from this ID 53 then I will get the order detail in which format in which we have provided YYY, MMM and DD it will accept the order date in this format YYY, MMM and DD and also while fetching the data we will fetching in this format also because we have provided in our mapper when we are converting order detail to order it will accept the date format in this pattern and when we are when we are creating the order detail from order entity also in the order detail also I'll get the I'll get this date in this pattern YYY MMM DD. So you can provide your own pattern and you can check you are getting this date field in your provided pattern or not. Okay? So we don't need to check the null check for this date or whether the date is present then convert it to convert it string to date or date to string again okay so it will automatically done by master so that's it for today's video so in this video we learn how master provide automatic type conversion between the primitive types okay uh, so i hope you like this video so in my next video i will come up with another video on master so till then thanks for watching thank you